I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to David Burgoon. To people that meet him, he may be just another guy, but to those that know him, he's much, much more. David was born on December 9, 1948, and was the second oldest of six kids raised on a farm in Winchester, Pennsylvania, where their parents instilled the old-fashioned values and a deep sense of morality. David was a track star in high school and was on a pretty normal path growing up until he was drafted into the Army for the Vietnam conflict, where he was a side gunner on the helicopters. With only a month remaining on his tour, David's command continually was pulling him off the flight schedules because it was considered bad luck to fly when you were a short timer. David kept asking though if he could just fly one more time. They let him go up one more time and he was shot. His left leg was terribly and permanently disfigured. David spent one year in a military hospital recovering from his injuries. The following text is an excerpt from the formal papers associated with his activities on January 6th, 1971. After being released from the hospital, David met his wife. He passed up an opportunity to become a helicopter mechanic because his wife wanted to stay close to her family. He took a job as a laborer for the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. David and his wife had three children, including a son with Down syndrome. Doctors told them right away that they should put the baby in a home, but they absolutely refused to do so. For the past 30 years, David's been an incredibly active volunteer for Special Olympics, coaching track, floor hockey, and volleyball. He does this every week for 10 months out of the year. At work, David was passed over for promotion until just before his retirement a few years ago. Not due to personality conflicts, but due to his work ethic. Guys wouldn't want to be on his crew because of his drive to accomplish things on schedule no matter what, given that old-fashioned pride and the value of a good day's work. I met David when I started dating his oldest daughter when we were 16. He took me under his wing in terms of hunting and even though I was in what I thought was great physical condition at the time, he'd outhunt me day after day. More importantly though, David showed me the values of patience, understanding and generosity in everyday life. I struggle every day to come even close to the example he set as a father, as a husband and as a man. While he's a very avid hunter, he's always used hunting as time for himself. As you may or may not be able to tell from what I've described to you so far, he doesn't take that time out for himself until his commitments to his family, community, and God have been met. Over the past couple years, he's been faced with the pain of watching his mother being slowly eaten away by Alzheimer's. For eight to 10 hours a day, five to six days a week, he stays with his mother through her decline, feeding her and taking care of even her most basic needs as the disease has progressively stolen away her ability to take care of herself. He's done all this while not missing a single commitment to the rest of his family or his community or Special Olympics. I could give you a thousand more examples of his character, including such things as his ongoing and unmatchable streak of blood donations, but suffice it to say he's the most unselfish and incredible man I've ever met. Patience and generosity, things that most men struggle with, come naturally to him. And he loves to hunt. It's something he'd never ask for because it's not in his makeup to ask for something for himself. But no one deserves a retreat, a chance to soak up an amazing experience doing something they love more than David Burgoon.